If you're like me, you probably make most of your meals from scratch. But I do understand that some days life happens and I just need to get something quick and out of the way. And that is when I will whip out something like a box cake to make a cake. But guess what guys, here I am about to share five tips that you can use to bump up your box cake mix and make it taste just like homemade. Can you see that on your screen? What if you if I told you that I did not make this from scratch and probably if you tasted it, you would not even know. And a lot of bakeries use these tricks and tips. So if you would like to see how I bump up my box cake, you definitely want to keep on watching. I am Mansa. You are welcome to my kitchen. <music> Today I'll be using one of my favorite brands for box cake mix which is the Duncan Hines and this is what I have right here. I have the Perfect Moist French Vanilla. It's a really nice flavor. I like it. So technically when you get it, this is what um, the instructions tell you that you need um, one cup of water and you need three eggs and a third cup of vegetable oil. Okay. So that's exactly what I have out sitting now. And I'm just going to tell you, I want you to not follow those instructions. Okay. And I'm going to share with you my own tips that I use to recreate this box cake instructions and make it into something that tastes just like homemade. Now this, okay, this is what we're working with today, guys. So let me walk you through the five tips that you would use to achieve this that never fails. First off, add an extra egg. It's going to create the richness that you like in your homemade cakes. Also, replace the vegetable oil with butter. Now you can go two ways here. You can either use half a cup of butter instead of one third, or you can double the butter by using two thirds instead of one third. I am using my Kerrygold butter. By the way, this is salted butter. So if you want to cut down on the salt, since the box cake already has salt, just use the unsalted Kerrygold. Number three, dish that water. Do not ever, ever, ever use water. If that's the only thing you're going to change, ditch that water. Okay, here I'm using one cup, which is the same quantity of water. I'm using one cup of buttermilk. And you don't want the low-fat buttermilk. You want the full cream buttermilk. Okay, you need the fat because fat is what makes cakes rich. We're making a cake, okay? You can also use regular milk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use whole milk. It would work well because these two, yes, there you go. Number four, add a small pack of instant pudding mix. This right here is going to take your game from two to 12. Trust me, guys, it's going to you see how jello makes everything so thick and nice. It's going to bring all that moisture and um, density to your cake. Another one, which is my fifth point, is to bump up that vanilla. Because most of these box cake mixes, they don't use real vanilla. It's just the imitation. So I would suggest you use pure vanilla. And today I'm going to bump it up even further by using my favorite citrus extract now i'm going to be using a bun pan today yeah because it makes everything look pretty right a bun pan makes everything look so pretty so i'm just going to start by greasing it and i'm just using butter to grease it and i will go off camera and also lightly flour it so that my cake would not stick to start with we're going to open up one pack of a uh, duncan hines perfectly moist French vanilla box cake mix. By the way, I already have a made from scratch pound cake, a lemon vanilla pound cake that I'm going to link in the cards. If you guys want to watch that, I made that from scratch and it is delicious. Next, I'm adding my pack of instant pudding. Always use flavors that complement each other. So I'm using a I'm doing vanilla today, so I'm sticking with vanilla all the way. 
all right so now i'm just giving that a quick stir sometimes at this point i like to add a little bit of nutmeg but today i'm not i am gonna add in my eggs i'm just for at this point i'm just following the instructions on the box cake okay and there comes in my butter by the way i decided to double on my butter so i'm using two-thirds of a cup of butter now here comes half a teaspoon of vanilla and i'm also going to add half a teaspoon of the lemon extract if you don't like the lemon extract or any other type of flavor just use one full teaspoon of the vanilla extract and you will be good but trust me this lemon makes all the difference and in comes in our good old buttermilk that makes everything taste good so the instructions on the box i follow these part yeah this part is, is pretty accurate and it tells you to beat it on low speed for about 30 seconds just to get everything together and then after that you want to bump up your speed to medium and beat it for two minutes i follow this exactly i do not change anything in this part and by the way if you like you can decide to cream the eggs and the butter first you don't know, like you would make a regular cake because those sugar is already incorporated in their dry mixture so if you like you can first mix your wet ingredients together before you combine it but i'm just following the box instructions right here and it really did not make any difference my cake always comes out really good and i'm telling you this is a trick some of my friends really love my pineapple cake and they really thought I made it from scratch, but it was from the Duncan Hines. Don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> So now you can see it's almost two minutes of beating it and you can see a batter is nice and thick, almost looking like a pound cake batter, right? Look at how good and thick and creamy that is. It almost looks like my pound, my made from scratch pound cake batter. And that's exactly what you want to see right there. Now I have gone ahead to flour, put flour on my greased baking pan. And I'm just going to scoop out my batter. And at this point, I have also gone ahead to preheat my oven. Since I'm using a bundt pan, the instructions on the cake says to bake it at 350 degrees for 33 to 36 minutes. If at the 36 minute mark, you insert a toothpick in the middle and it comes out wet and not clean, then you definitely want to put it in again for like an additional two to three minutes. And when a toothpick comes out dry, then you know that your cake is done. Now you want to pop it, drop it, you know how we do it. Get it all leveled up because we're using a bun pan and we want it to look pretty into the oven it goes for 36 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean by the way i'm baking it on the middle rack which is perfect for me and here is our cake it is just straight out of the oven and just look at that beauty it looks so good it is everything that i wish for and more at this point, you want to let your cake rest. Let it cool down until your baking pan is cool to the touch. I let it cool down as much as possible. Sometimes even cool down completely before I mess with it. All that fat is all going to settle in and you would love the texture. Here we are. Our cake is totally cool. As you can see, I'm able to touch it. And because we greased a pan and coated it with flour, the cake is going to slide out really fast with no problems. Absolutely. If you guys love what you're seeing, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Now look at this beauty. Guys, my husband had company over that evening and they were like, oh, did you make that cake again? They thought it was my lemon vanilla pound cake. I didn't say anything. I was just quiet. <laughs> but it is not the same though. I still vouch for that recipe. Like I said, I will put it up in the cards and in the description box below. Now, moment of truth, we're going to cut into our little cake. Oh, yeah, guys. That lemon, I can smell it already. It makes everything taste beautiful and smell beautiful. And here is a piece of cake. Look at that. Moist. You can see it. It is even bouncing back, baby. Come on now. <laughs> Give your girl a thumbs up if you're enjoying this recipe, guys. It is perfectly brown. I love the color. It is not burnt. It has the perfect brown crust and y'all know I'm a crust girl. 
Now to my favorite part, which is the taste test. I'm gonna taste this on your behalf and you get to watch. You can see my fork just slid right through and this is what my piece looked like and I'm telling you it was what? Perfection. Thank you guys so much if you're still watching up until this point. If you are a returning subscriber, join me on the table. Take a piece, okay? If this is your first time coming across this channel, you are absolutely welcome. My name is Mansa Queen and on this channel I share recipes and food, drinks, and I also share cooking hacks like this one. So if you like what you're seeing, go on ahead and hit the subscribe button and while you're at it, hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified each time I upload new content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until I catch you in my next one, I need you all to stay safe and I love you all. Bye!